So you can see it's not very glamorous. An unfinished dirt space that's been holding a secret for more than a century. Nick Drummond and Patrick Bacher bought the house about a year and a half ago. It actually came with this crazy rumor when we bought it that it was built by a bootlegger. But neither of them actually believed it. Well, it was sort of like little did we know that it actually, the truth ended up being way weirder. They started renovating their 1914 American Foursquare back in September and in early October, they were working on the mudroom off the back of their kitchen, an addition believed to have been added around 1920. All of a sudden, like a whole bunch of stuff falls out. And at first, I don't really realize what's happening or what I'm looking at. There's just sort of like a pile of hay and paper and straw, and I'm sort of like sifting through it, and I start to realize that there is actually a package. After making the discovery outside, the next day, they decided to explore the hatch inside the mudroom, which they were told led to an old well. But when Nick crawled in... I look above me, and instead of seeing floor joists, I'm like, why is there a solid ceiling in a crawl space with flathead screws? And I was like, oh my God, there's got to be whiskey in the floor. So far, the pair have found more than 70 bottles of Old Smuggler's Gaelic Old Whiskey dating back to the 1920s hidden in the space. Some full, some half full, and some empty because of the way they were stored. Since the discovery, they've tried the whiskey and are researching the home's original owner, Count Adolf Humpfner, who died in 1932. He was a man of mystery, fake names, interesting relationships, and no heirs to his fortune. In addition to this guy just being this crazy, shady character, there was a lot of drama surrounding not only his life, but his death. Um, so he actually died in the house unexpectedly, which presumably is why the bottles were still there. They say it took investigators almost a decade to sort out the Count's affairs because of his aliases and shady business dealings. In the end, the Count's estranged widow got a chunk of the fortune, and this history mystery could still be hidden in the floorboards. As they were in the process of buying the house, Nick says he had second thoughts. I love like really old, old houses because of the amount of history they have. And I was like, well, maybe it's not old enough. And then it's like, oh my God, it's old enough. It's yeah, we, we already liked the house because we bought it, but that definitely added much more love. So, you know, prior to this, we didn't really honestly think much of the mudroom. It was never really a focus of our renovations. And now it's like, you know, we're like, how can we preserve this really unique part of the home's history. For that, they're working on a plan. A lot of the packages that are more or less empty, we're just leaving them in the floor. We actually might put a little glass panel on the floor to show the packages beneath.